So today I'm talking about a P0320 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0320 code? Well, it's an ignition distributor, engine speed input circuit. And so what does this mean? Well, basically the whole engine needs to be timed correctly. That way fuel goes into the cylinders at the right time and the spark ignites the fuel at the right time and different things like this. And older vehicles, they used to use a distributor to send out the spark at the right time. But in newer vehicles, this is now controlled by the computer. So the computer is going to control when to send out spark, when to turn on a fuel injector and send fuel into a cylinder. So it needs to know what the timing of the engine is. It needs a way to track this. That way it can do its calculations. And most vehicle computers, they're going to use what's called the crankshaft position sensor to track the timing of the engine. This is a sensor that's going to be located down around the crankshaft somewhere. And it's just tracking that crankshaft as it spins. But when you get this P0320 code, the computer's not getting this information from the crankshaft position sensor. There's some kind of issue going on here. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to note about this P0320 code is that a lot of people, as soon as they get it, they race out and they change out the crankshaft position sensor. Since that is a common problem with this code, but keep in mind, it can be other things. Also keep in mind that depending on the vehicle, there might be what's called the crankshaft relearn. And this really varies. It could depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. But basically, if that crankshaft or camshaft is swapped out, some vehicles will have what's called a crankshaft or camshaft relearn. Some vehicles you could just start up and drive around, the computer automatically relearn. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, that might have that option inside of there. Those are usually the more expensive scan tools, but if you have a good scan tool, it might have that option. But basically, keep in mind that other things can cause this problem, and some vehicles, sometimes they have what's called a crankshaft relearn. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0320 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. Usually it's going to be the crank sensor, but keep in mind the camshaft position sensor can also be tied into the circuit of the crankshaft position sensor. So while usually it's going to be a bad crank sensor, keep in mind on some vehicles it can also be a bad camshaft position sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. I've made YouTube videos on that. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you want to check that out. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad crankshaft or camshaft position sensor. And the next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. Basically, if that crankshaft or camshaft position sensor, if they have it open, a short, there's a blown fuse, anything like that, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and you know, check to see what's going on inside the wiring. It is very common for five volts to be going to these circuits. So when the key is in the on position, one of the pins should be getting five volts going to it. There should also be a good ground wire. And then there's also a signal wire going back to the computer. So if you have a multimeter and you get schematics for your vehicle, you could go and check those pins and be sure that they're all good, that there's no open or short or anything like this. It's also a good idea to go check for any blown fuses. Which fuse it is is really going to vary. Again, it's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. But if the fuse that belongs to the circuit, if it blows, then that's going to cause problems. So be sure to check for any blown fuses because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ignition coil. If one of these ignition coils goes bad, then that can trigger a P0320 code. Usually if that happens, the engine will be misfiring or something like that. Although a bad crankshaft or camshaft position sensor can also cause that. If the engine's running okay and it's not misfiring or anything, then very likely it's not a bad coil. Also, usually when there is a bad coil, you'll be getting another code. So for example, if you also got like a P0352, ignition coil B, primary secondary circuit malfunction then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out cylinder number two ignition coil and test the circuit and things like this, because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad ignition coil. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0320 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.